In this video, I want to show you how to set up phone call tracking conversions inside of Google Ads um, natively. Now, full disclosure, we actually, as an agency, we use a third-party software called Call Tracking Metrics. It allows us to track and record phone calls and then manually import them into Google. It provides for way cleaner data. But if you don't have the time, the energy, the patience, the wherewithal, this is kind of the easy way to do it. So let me just dive right in. Um, inside of Google Ads, you're going to go to conversions, so tools and settings and conversions. You'll notice I'm in a, a beta campaign right now, so I don't have all the same tools and settings that you will, but conversions lives under tools and settings, so don't worry about uh, the slight difference in my view at the moment. Uh, I'm just in the midst of a training account. Uh, when you select conversions, you're going to come up here to your little plus bubble, and you're going to choose phone calls. And Google's going to give you three opportunities, calls uh, from uh, extensions, Mobile sites, we're going to choose calls from your website. Click on continue. Google pre-designates the category. That's great. Usually I'm a big stickler for nomenclature, but right now I feel like you can really just phone these in. Uh, phone call leads. We're not going to select a value. Uh, if you've been through any of my other training, you know that I actually think this is Google sort of um, backing us into machine learning in a way that's not to our benefit. So uh, I'd say leave a value off for now. Most phone calls are going to select uh, one here, just in terms of conversion count. If somebody calls multiple times, I don't think there's any reason to count that as multiple conversions because it's the same lead. Call length. This is up to you. Agencies like this really low because it means that a call that lasts 30 seconds is a lead. And they get to say, look at all the leads we sent. Uh, I wouldn't fault you for setting this higher if you say, hey, it takes longer than you know 60 seconds for me to determine somebody's a lead. I'll leave it at 60 seconds for now. Um, the click-through conversion window, I usually like setting these really broad. For call leads, to be honest with you, I don't think it's that big a deal. So you can leave it on the default if you want to. You will include this in conversion. That's why you're, you're adding it. And then the attribution model, if you don't know, I'd recommend time decay. If you do know, then don't yell at me because you have your own use case and everybody's attribution opinion is different and I'm not here to get in a bloody nerd war with you. Um, I like time decay as a default just because it tends to kind of help make sure that everything um, gets credit with some level of recency bias. When that's done, we're going to create and continue. I use Google Tag Manager. Um, using Google Tag Manager gives me conversion ID and label. I already have my conversion link, uh, uh, conversion linker tag built, just FYI. If you don't, super easy to do. It takes a fraction of a second. Not going to go through it in this training. Uh, but inside of Tag Manager, we're going to go to Tags. You can see my conversion linker tags there. Uh, I'll click on New, Tag Configuration, and then we scroll down to Google Ads Calls from Website Conversion. Choose the phone number we want to replace. What Google's going to do is it's going to identify this phone number wherever it exists and then replace it with their own tracking number, which means you have to make sure the formatting is consistent. 333-444, not dot, that type of thing. Um, go over here, get your conversion ID from Google Ads. Get your conversion label from Google Ads. Uh, triggering is easy because we want it to happen on all pages. Name this tag, phone call leads, and then click save. And then click submit. Uh, iteration control if you want to. You can just name what this change was. I'm not going to because this is a dummy tag manager account. Uh, and then what we need to do now, what you need to do is test and make sure that this tag is properly firing on your site. It's going to be tough for me to do that in this particular instance because I'm willing to bet that I'm having caching issues. Let's, yeah, so it's not going to, let's refresh and see what happens. Uh, so the problem is, is it doesn't necessarily recognize, hold on, let me bring it over from another browser. Hope y'all can see this. Uh, if I check tag manager now, or excuse me, tag assistant now, then I've got uh, remarketing tag manager and bam, website call metrics, which is what we just built. So we know that it's working and functioning and that's it. <laughs> Relatively easy, all things considered. Um, I hope this was helpful. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe. Thumbs up if you're happy with it. Comments if you have any questions. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.